Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at one of the cool features built into the Box Pro Plus, and that is the ability to share whatever you see on the screen with someone else, whether that be on a phone or a computer. And I think it's really important that we share our hobby with others to get people engaged and interested in what we're doing. So with that, let's get into it. Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at how to connect to the Wi-Fi built into the Box Pro Plus. First, I'm going to show you how to do it on a PC, and next, I'm going to show you how to do it on an Android phone. And lastly, I'll mention how to do it with a cool app for iPhone. First, we need to connect to the Wi-Fi of the Box Pro. It's going to be HD0 with the password DiviMath. Next, we'll open up VLC, and then we'll go to Media, and then Open Network Stream. In here, we type in this address. This is the same address that's listed on the Box Pro Wi-Fi screen in case it's hard to remember. I like to check this more options and then caching by default is set to a thousand milliseconds. For this demo, I'm going to be setting it to 400 so that it acts, reacts a little faster. And then click play. And here we are connected. And I'll show you here in the Wi-Fi menu. Um, what you're going to need to do if, if you didn't already is click on en enable like this and then apply right here and then of course the wi-fi will turn on once the wi-fi is on connect to it with your phone or with your computer password is divi math all right so now that we're connected you can do everything that you can with the goggle normally we can go to playback and we can play whatever's in here and it all just works so pretty cool another cool thing about this mode is it will mirror everything. So if you have HD, HDMI connected, it will show that. If you have analog connected, it will show that. It literally copies everything that is on the screen, which is pretty neat. So here I'll just go up to source and then HD0. It'll show, you know, kind of loading into that. And then if I had an HD0 camera right now, it would connect to that. Similarly, I'll go back to the menu. And I'll pick on analog and connect. Same story there. Everything that you see on the Box Pro screen is going to be mirrored here. And of course, it works on HDMI also. Okay, so let's show how to connect on Android. So we're going to go to Wi Fi and then we want to connect to HD0 and password DiviMath, of course. I like this app called RTSP Player, but VLC also works. First, let's look at RTSP Player. Okay, and there it is. So it just works. Now, here's how you configure it, an RTSP Player. So you'll just put in this address, the same one that's listed on the goggle. Now let's take a look at how we do this on VLC. So open up VLC, and then you'll do New Stream. Again, RTSP, connect, and it just works. So now, for some finer details um, to make this work better for you, I recommend going into the Wi-Fi settings. Go and click on settings for your network. Go view more. And then this is a kind of a key thing to make the connection stable. Uh, you'll want to manually set an IP address. 192.168.2.100, that's what I recommend. Anything that's dot two is going to work. Gateway 2.1. And then that will prevent your phone from wanting to disconnect from the stream. The other way that you can do this is you can enable airplane mode, which will turn off your mobile data and will force the system to use the Wi Fi rather than disconnect from it. But as you can see, it works pretty well. Now, on RTSP player, I do like to edit some of the options here. Now let's see if I can find the option I'm looking for. I believe it is uh, in settings here. And I like to set the caching buffer size to be, you know, a little bit lower, somewhere around 400, so that it doesn't have as much in the way. So that's it. Have fun. Now, lastly, for iPhone and iPad, unfortunately, I don't have one here with me today, but I have recorded some of the past. And you can do similar steps to what I described for both Windows and Android and use VLC as your free option. If you want 
a paid option that's going to automate some of the steps for you, I highly recommend taking a look at an app called FPV Mate. This app's going to guide you through how to do all the connection and it kind of smooths out some connection issues that iPhone users have ported. So I've heard really good success from a lot of iPhone users. Unfortunately, I'm not an iPhone user. I've just used one temporarily to test that the app worked. Uh, and I'll leave a link to, in the description of the video for you to go ahead and download the FPV Mate app. With that, I hope you have a good time being able to share your videos with others. I think it's super important to be able to share the hobby with other people around you. Bye.